This is Raj Gupta. I'm talking to you from Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. And this is my short video on how I do it for some fascial plane blocks. Well, this is a little bit funny looking with this water animation. I don't know what I was thinking. But we're going to start with some retrolaminar and erector spinae ultrasounding. I've got Nick here who's one of my fellows helping me out, so I appreciate him. And what you see here is he's sitting up and we're doing a uh, ultrasound. If you look at the ultrasound itself, this ultrasound is in transverse view to start out with. And we're going to be ultrasounding the spine to look for the spinous process. If you look at the ultrasound on the left, you can see that we have the tip of the spinous process coming down to the lamina. And if you watch that area as I play the video, you can kind of see the definition of the lamina to the transverse process. Incidentally, you can also see the pleura down here below. So now I've got the probe in a parasagittal view. And I'm going to scan from the midline over laterally until I see the lamina. And here you can see the lamina stacked on top of each other. And this is where you would do the retrolaminar injection. If you keep moving laterally, you can continue to see the lamina. And you can see some of the erector spinae muscles sitting on top of the lamina. And as I go lateral, you'll see the jump up to the transverse processes. And these are the erector spinae muscles sitting on top of the transverse processes. You would normally do an injection underneath those muscles to cause a linear spread in both directions. If you continue scanning laterally you'll find ribs and occasionally you'll see the pleura down below. Here you see the ribs have a smaller footprint and uh, echo shadow and the pleura down below in between the ribs. 